to the next what is the instructions are given what are the instructions are given solid body we have to extract complete part in surfaces disassemble all the surfaces after extraction remove all the ribs in these ribs we have to remove and convert surface part into the solid without rip so these ribs we don't want okay so that is the modifications required into this part okay so moving to the next so this is the input we have in the body also you can see solid body we have okay now first thing is extraction so i'll go and select the here extract because i want to convert this part into the solid to surface first so we'll go to the shape generative shape design and then we'll go to the multi extraction and point continuity mode complete part i want to change select this click okay and now hide the original part solid body so this is complete surface body right that is extracted okay then next is we have to disassemble this again i don't know the merging distance value here so merging distance value to know that and here disassemble means this rib surface also i want to remove okay for that so here again i'll insert a geometrical set and this assemble <laughs> sorry and we'll disassemble this okay all the surfaces it is going to disassemble hide the original otherwise it will overlap okay now these are all disassemble if i press the downward key here two surfaces means if you see bottom and this bottom it is highlighting two surfaces right so here we have to check if i hide this control z here this reaps we don't want right so total surface disassembled surface are 138 total disassembled surfaces are 138 you select this all the surfaces from top to bottom if i hide this okay so 138 that is the disassembled value right so same all the surfaces are coming 138 now here this reap surfaces we want to remove okay rip patches so i'll hide this like this okay you can press the space bar as last session we discussed and we can hide it easily here this surfaces because this rip surfaces we don't want okay small small patches this rips we have to remove right okay space bar or you can do the right click and hide also okay and these things also okay so now all the rib surfaces are hidden right now here if i join it join any random surface with right click distance propagation preview okay you can see middle surface is not selected why because it is not connected anywhere right rather all connected surfaces are selected okay so this is my without rip patch if i give the color this is my without rip patch this surface also separate because if you see this is separate surface it is not joined because it is not connected anywhere right that's why it is not selected getting selected fine no problem now see now what we have to do as a output here now surfaces we need to create right because there is a gap is there right because we uh hide it uh, this all the surfaces we removed right already where there was the ribs right so now here if i insert a geometrical set so we are going to use which command blend command here why blend because inputs are two what are the inputs 
this age and this age two profiles only i have so i can use the blend command for blend command what is the input boundary so go to the boundary and select the tangent continuity okay tangent continuity if i select this it will select the complete bound if you click double click on any command it will stay active okay so i am quickly creating the boundaries like this okay i am quickly creating the boundary so this boundaries i can easily select why tangent continuity because it will take complete edge otherwise if you are taking no propagation so small small area it will leave and it is not taking complete edges okay here also so quickly we can select this edges okay and here also okay so all the horizontal boundaries are getting selected cancel now we'll use the blend command okay so for blend command double click onto the blend and first curve is this then first support is this then second curve is this second support is this and point to point continuity will create arrow direction same required okay flat surface i want same for here first curve support then second curve support okay point to point continuity okay you can see it is creating the surfaces right support then here also support arrow direction required same and point to point continuity and now this also support this support arrow direction same point to point continue okay so here this is forming right so here we'll use the another command to create that again this support then this support then point, arrow direction same point to point continue okay so we have to repeat this everywhere so we can make a surfaces there okay so we are doing the modifications into the existing part so this type of modification also required right sometimes into the when you are working on the real time so if you know the process you can easily do the modifications into the part whatever part any part you have no history no problem you can do the modifications okay if you know the proper process by using the different different workbenches part design or surfacing okay here also point to point continued okay and now here support support and this is point to point continued okay i'm repeating the command there are other commands also you can use but i'm using some basic commands here only because blend we know right how to use so you can use the blend no problem and now this one okay point to point continuity okay now all the horizontal surface are created so i'll select all the boundaries and hide it okay now again i'll create one join command select one right click distance propagation okay preview click open so if you see this is my final join and if i take the boundary now you can see how many portions are open green area means that area is open this horizontal four one two three four and vertical this all the patches okay so you have to break your part into the steps okay then you can understand now here also what i have to do i'm going to use the here you can use the fill command no problem 
okay so here i'll insert one geometrical set name it as a field okay our field also i'll create a boundaries point continuity because close entity i have now this is my close entity okay here also i have close entity I'll double click on the boundary command okay here also i have close entity okay and here also i have close entity these are all horizontal things and vertical also this is also one then two cancel select only one edge okay then here also same thing so i can execute the command fill quickly because i have already the closed entities okay and this side also okay now we can run the field command so double click on the field so wherever the close entity you can see this is my close counter right here also i can select this is my close counter click okay sorry sorry double click on the field select this okay then select this okay then select this okay then select this so these are all four horizontal field surfaces right then we'll go for the vertical this is one field okay right then this is also one field okay then this okay this one okay you can take it is taking only single thing right if you see this so if you select to close entity it is giving you the problem okay so individually we have to select this select this okay and this also so we can join all the things single in a single command that's why okay i think this is remaining right this one and this one okay now all the things are done hide the boundaries okay now i am going to create the join again select any surface right click distance propagation preview now you can see where is the green line is coming here so problem is this green line is coming means this is required the more merging distance here so i'll change this to the 2 micron error removed click off okay this is my final join if i click the boundary the body is closed means it, we can turn this into the solid right now we can turn this into the solid now one thing or one uh, question we can see here uh, one problem that these lines are these edges are coming right because that are the impression of your ribs so if you don't want that that is also one command you can use to remove that okay because if you change this to the smooth mode if you are changing to the smooth mode so that are not visible that is not a big problem here but into the sharp mode also you want the single patch or single surface means this all the things i want to merge as a single surface then what is the command or how can i do that so for that you have one command that is surface simplification here surface simplification you can select the surface simplification then select the join and which faces you want to merge 1 2 3 4 Five, six, seven. All the adjacent faces I want to select. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. These are all the faces I want to merge. Okay. 
here also this face this face this face this 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 all faces i want to merge as a single surface okay horizontal faces selected then if i click preview so inner deviation value is 0.03 and here inner deviation value is maximum 0.015 so this value is greater than this value right whatever the inner deviation value is coming 0 0.02 you can able to see right so now if i click ok you can see now what happened all the faces are merged right means when i am disassembling later this surface this as a single surface it will come okay so that is the use of surface simplification you can merge the faces and you can create a single surface using that okay now in the sharp mode also i am getting this without flat surface completely right without that impressions same for the vertical faces also you can do you can select the same face bring the faces to merge now this surface then this surface and this surface okay click ok see so it will calculate as a single face okay so these things also you can do into the modification if you want your part to be presented very well. Okay, like this. That is surface simplification command. Which command? Surface simplification. Here. And this one. Okay, so now your part is completely clean without rips. Now you can make it solid, right? So we can make it solid. Go to the part design, insert body, properties, close body. Okay, and then here, fill with the closed surface, select this, click on and hide it. Okay. So this is the modification is completed without rips. Okay. Previously, the input part was this and output is this. Okay. So like this, using the simple commands, you can do the modification. Using the simple commands, you can do the modification. The surface to solid, solid to surface, anything. Okay. So this part also you can resolve easily.